this is your barcode and you have to repeat it all the way down and try to get through the maze just repeating that barcode so you can see here I've been successful two whites three blacks two whites three blacks two whites three blacks two whites three blacks two whites and three blacks and I'm out so this barcode worked what's the smallest barcode I can use for example can I use two whites and two blacks well let's uh, let's try uh, here goes let's see and uh oh I went two whites two blacks and now I'm stuck you can't visit a space that you've already visited uh, so this is not good I guess you could visit a space you've already visited but that would be a different maze so for this for uh, in, the, in this introductory version we are just going to say that you cannot visit a space that you've already visited so here we here we have failed dramatically so let's see can I do it with uh, just three and the answer is uh no here i'm i'm needing to find another white and i've already visited this white so this is a disaster so failure yeah that doesn't work what about this aha yes so here i did get it so i think these are really fun mazes and you can just choose a random qr code uh, the, uh, this is a QR code, it's called a micro QR code, and this is a registry across the um, side. So these ones are fixed, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, and then this is also fixed, a seven by seven square, and this one's also fixed, alternating going up there. So, but of course we can do much, much simpler things and call them QR codes. We're gonna call this a, a micro micro QR code. and can I solve it like this um, well let's see this is an idea and nope there I failed yeah I can't go can't go through there what about this so here uh, this is looking better and a success yeah what about this yeah so I've, I've uh, been successful can I do it with less I don't know what about this one so I just find these just immensely fun well this one was easy to solve with four but can you solve it with three um yes you can yeah what about this can you solve this with three or do you need four i think this one you need four this is the this you can't solve with uh, just three but you can solve it in with different barcodes okay what about this uh, i tried it with this does this work um yes it does yeah good good oh no it doesn't i'm wrong i failed because there's two here so maybe this is uh, not successful maybe this is not possible oh it is possible yeah there we go <laughs> okay what else can we do um this one here yeah that so it's really fun to try to create random ones but it's also tr fun to try to create ones that are as difficult as possible that means use as large a barcode as possible and i think a template like this i think you can increase the size and have blacks in the corner and this checkerboard pattern in the middle i think that patterns like this become incredibly difficult to solve and therefore just a really large barcode so does five work That'll be the largest barcode we've needed yet. And let's see. Uh, no, uh, failed on five. And uh, does six work? Uh, here we go. And yep, six, I managed to do it. So this is a totally random one. And, uh, oh no, no, I lied. Uh, I'm lying, this is not a random one. This is one that I constructed to be as cool as possible. So can you, see a way to do it with the smallest barcode possible so that that's your challenge you can stop the video now and just try but i'm gonna do it with this one so yeah you can you can do it with four and we can do it with four in this way yeah okay but can you do it with three uh, there's your challenge either this three or um two two blacks and a white and that that's that's definitely more of a challenge but here is a solution look at that oh it's so cool you have to actually go back on yourself 
most of the of the QR codes that I've experimented with, you can actually solve it with three, uh, just the random ones that I came up with. So really interesting. Anyway, enjoy. Take care. Bye bye.